Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today I'm out on a nice little brick cut stream exploring with a little dry dropper. It's really cold. The dry dropper has a lot of advantages here. I can fish further away because these fish are a little bit spooky, and the average brookie in here is actually pretty big. So they're smart fish, so I can keep myself away from the fish. Longer presentation, and the dry will suspend that nymph where I want it. I can change bead sizes of the nymph to get a slower or faster drift. A heavier bead will slow down that dry, which is helpful in the winter, like here. The fish are also sitting in pretty slow water most of the time. So the dry dropper allows me to suspend the nymph in that slow water or even a back eddy where it's moving backwards up the stream. So the dry dropper can suspend in that slow water and allows the fish to swim around, find it, and eat it. The dry I've been using today is Lance Egan's corn fed caddis. It's a great little CDC bug and underneath that I have a walt you know standard copper bead waltz always works so far I've used a 2.5 and a 3 mil waltz because these pockets are short the drifts are a little bit shorter in general so get that waltz down there quick and working good the CEC caddis is a little bit troublesome to dry off after every fish or every other fish when it gets dunked but Another one that I like to use is a trigger point caddis, that's trigger point EP fiber. It's a synthetic, so you can dry it off really easily. As soon as it gets wet, rub it on some sort of soft material and you can get it dry. This time of year, little black stone flies are also coming off and those are like a size 16, 18. A little black stone fly dry, this one's a little CDC. Again, it works really well. And as far as nymphs go, waltz, pheasant tails, eggs, and anything with a little bit of CDC sometimes works because when you're fishing the slower water with a dry dropper, you can take that dry and bounce it and the nymph below will bounce up and down a little. And anything with a little CDC collar definitely has some good movement down there. As pretty much always, fishing upstream, staying behind the fish, they aren't the spookiest right now. The water is up a little, but it's very, very clear. So I'm fishing 7x because the fish aren't that big. And that 7x will get really nice drift. And I am using a tag system for the dry dropper. I really like the tag because you can fish the Y. The Y is when you form a little Y in your tippet to your dry and then to your nymph. You hold that knot, whether it's a blood knot or a surgeon's knot, just off the water and you can bounce that dry up and down in the slower water that works really well fish will come up and eat the dry and of course eat the nymph brook chat streams are a great place to practice a new technique whether it be nymphing or dry dropper there's all these crazy currents in here with all the boulders high gradient if you can dry drop well in here you can dry drop anywhere Thank you. 